Lauren? Well, Jennifer, the sheriff says he is furious. One of his former employees allegedly sold a key card, giving the male inmates access to those female dorms. But he says after an exhaustive investigation, which included dozens of interviews and looking for hours at that surveillance video, he is certain no women were sexually assaulted. It was the middle of the night when several men, their faces covered with towels, made their way into the women's dorms at the Clark County Jail. That October 2021 night was described by some of the women as a night of terror. Former jail officer David Lowe reportedly sold keys to the women's dorms to male inmates, and the group spent 20 minutes passing between blocks. And you can see these female inmates, their heads turned, they're watching everything he's doing, everything he's doing. A month later, multiple women filed a lawsuit alleging they were harassed, threatened, and sexually assaulted. But Sheriff Jamie Knoll says after an exhaustive investigation and looking through surveillance video, they believe those claims are unfounded. Motion picks her back up. She's on camera the whole entire time of the incident. Another clip shows a woman and a man rearrange bedding and sit side by side in a bunk together for about three minutes. The sheriff says there doesn't appear to be any cause for concern. You would see someone running here beating the door or hitting the intercom button or picking up these phones calling the report an incident. And that never happens. And you, and you never see that. That never happens. But the attorney representing more than 20 women who filed the suit says it's not what's on camera, it's what we don't see. The problem with Sheriff Knoll's attempt at transparency is the fact, a fact he knows very well, is that the jail camera, which was in the location to capture exactly what happened on that night, was not operational. The sheriff says that's not the case and says no one came forward to report abuse. Just one female inmate told her lawyer some men had been in the dorms the next morning. We've talked to probably roughly 100 inmates, and not one said that a rape happened. That told us when they were, I asked, well, go back in the video, do we miss, do we miss anything? Is there evidence for crime? And obviously you can see it, there's not. And Jennifer, the sheriff tells me they've since overhauled security, changing out keys, only allowing supervisors in the main control section, and also having those cameras run constantly versus being motion activated. Meanwhile, David Lowe, that's the former employee who allegedly sold inmates the keys, has been arrested on several charges, including misconduct. I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.